are discussing Sperner's lemma and its triangulations. Sperner, Sperner's lemma states that given any triangulation of an n simplex, which is n dimensional, which is Sperner labeled, there exists an odd number of completely labeled n elementary n simplices. In particular, there exists at least one such elementary simplex within a triangulation. Every properly colored subdivision contains a cell whose vertices have all different colors. The two dimensional case is the one that's to refer to most frequently, and it goes like this. I've got two dimensions. I've labeled the triangle with the three different vertices, A, B, and C. Now, these could be labeled also 1, 2, and 3. Now, on this edge between A and B, I will put more vertices. Now, any vertex that I put on this edge between A and B either has to be colored blue or has to be colored red. Any vertex that's laid on this edge between B and C either has to be colored red or colored green. Any vertex on this edge either has to be green or blue. The quantity and the order do not matter. Now I'm going to end up putting some vertices on the inside and trying to make a triangulation out of this picture. I've just put three in there for, for example here. I've put a green, a red, and a blue. Now I'm going to create a triangulation connecting vertices, making smaller triangles inside this uh, large triangle. I've made this one here. Now the the lemma states that if I have a properly triangulated triangle like this one here, then there exists a triangle from the triangulation whose vertices are colored with three different colors. Well, not only just one, more precisely, there must be an odd number of triangles. Now, on this triangulation, I notice that this smaller triangle is colored blue, red, and green. This one on the inside is also colored blue, red, and green. And then one more blue, red, and green. This triangle, triangulation does satisfy the Sperno's lemma that there will be an odd number of triangles that share all three vertices. More examples of this, I, there's another triangulation that looks like this. These are blue, red, and green vertices. The triangulation gives me all these smaller triangles, and I notice that I have one, two, three, four, five triangles that are each colored red, blue, and green. Now these vertices on the outside could also be numbers, 1, 2, and 3. So on this side, I'm going to either have all 1s or 3s. On this edge, all 2s or 3s. On this edge, all 1s or 2s. And on the inside, the, the order of combination does not matter. But once I make my triangulation, I've noticed I've only got also one, two, th three triangles on the interior that have a 1, 2, 3 vertex. 1, 2, 3 vertex. 1, 2, 3 vertex. Another example is this one. I've got a green blue and red vertices. The triangulation yields this and I notice that I have one triangle, two, three, that all have the, the all different colors, green, red, and blue. Again, there's only three of these, a not number, which satisfies the Sperner triangulation, the Sperner's lemma for triangulations.